Hey, it's Nadine here with your weekly energy forecast. Um, I wasn't going to do it today. I've had a strange week, like my voice has left me completely. I haven't been able to do anything that in regards to voice, using my voice. So the good thing was it made me go inward. And yeah, I apologize. Maybe I'll sit closer to make sure you can hear me. I could have put in a, a mic maybe. Um, reason being that I just felt very emotional. There was a lot of water energy and my energy in motion was very watery and I cried and I cried and I felt some of it, I also digest um, energy from people around me. So I had to make sure I was, and also people I work with, you know, I could feel their sadness and then I try to digest it in their place, um, which we do as empaths, it's not much, you know, I, and I become aware of that. And in the end, I made sure I was only digesting my own. Um, yeah, I clean up as much as I can still from other people. I'm, it, do, it doesn't hurt me. It's just that we are all connected and we are also all connected in how we feel emotionally about things. It's hard to keep going with the commitments we have in our daily life because these are moments that I just was like, I need to take a back step. And I had felt it coming. I was following some astrologers and they were talking about what was going on in Pisces or with my five planets there. I'm thinking, oh, what's got to go? I always got to feel. So it felt watery. I'm happy to be here though and have a chat with you guys to make sure you all feel that it's okay sometimes to just be sad and not being able to put your finger on it. I feel there's a lot of things that I'm saying goodbye to, a lot of things that I'm letting go of that will no longer stay. And I pulled a card, I got this card, you know, the nine of swords. And, and it's, it's a time where we question, we think, what am I committed to? Why am I committed to this? Should I stay committed? And yeah, this morning I woke up at two o'clock right away. You know, I just read a bit until four for two hours until I fell back asleep and I got up at seven, which for me is late. And I had that lately. I have been sleeping much later than usual. I'm just getting used to things being different. Although in my daily life, not much has changed. Well, I'm just being very lucky where I live that here there's not much change. There's not a lot of people here. So it's life just goes on. Uh, the only thing is we can't go anywhere like outside other countries but besides that things are kind of similar so the emotions i think is still realizing that we have stuff inside us from when we were childs when we were children when we were said you know you're not good enough and you've been made fun of like i at several locations people um, and it's funny, especially with English. In my other languages that I speak, I don't have a foreign accent. And in English, I can't get my accent right. I have certain words are very hard for me to get a f all that going. It's speaking in front of the mouth, whereas my position is to speak more guttural, more in the back. And um, so I remember very well that I was made fun of in school. I had to go in front and everybody had had French for quite a while, but I had been in another school where they didn't give French. So I had to stand there and it was Paule Antoinette and they had breakfast and we had to talk about it in French. And I, I mispronounced a lot of things. I was made fun of and I felt really, really upset, you know. Um, because I, I'd gotten it wrong in another language and I felt that I wasn't good enough. You see, and when I think about it, it comes back up. Living as a foreigner here with a, with a strong accent, I often get treated like that. Like you just don't belong, you don't get it. You, you're not one of us. 
So you kind of like feel the outsider. And that brings me back to when I was 10 years old, speaking French in front of a class for the first time I ever opened my mouth in French. And then they all start laughing because I got some words wrong. And um, I think that vulnerability, I can almost cry again when I go there. You see my eyes get like this. And I'm normally not like, I'm not somebody who cries easily. My husband makes fun of me that I don't cry a lot. But when I do, when I open them, it can be for days. <laughs> it's like the, the rain here, it gets flooded. And it's just letting go of the emotions of not feeling good enough while doing something that other people make fun of you, you know? And, and that's when I said, I lost my voice. I, I'm in similar situations in my life at the moment where I feel, where can I release my emotions and still be safe? What is a safe spot? You might be going through something similar. That's why I'm bringing this up. It's always safe to release your emotions on paper. And that's what I do. I just wipe and wipe and wipe it all out. And I meditate and I have my exercise. I put it on the altar and I say, I know this is something old. This comes from past lives. There's this emotion of, I don't belong here. I'm not good enough. I'm, I'm a strange one. I'm not like everybody else. And I never was like the others. I was dressed differently, thought differently, everything. I was different, you know? I, I, I Yeah, what do you call it? Is it a square peg in a round hole? That was me, always have been. And it's lonely and you do want to fit in, but then you just know the cost of fitting in is not being you, it's not being who you are. So then you, you have to kind of like fake it till you make it. And I can't, <laughs> for the love of me, I can't. So then I retreat and I go and do my own thing by myself and I write it out on paper. So I would suggest for you to do the same thing, feel your emotions, feel like, I don't think I belong here. It is, it's difficult to be me sometimes, you know, and you're very, when you're a very sensitive person and you open up your aura, you work and you do readings and you speak to people who have gone to the other side and all these things I do in daily life, they can make us feel at certain days like, whoa, and my emotions, you know, what am I going to do with mine? How am I going to take with them? So I will spend also some time with the horses today, with animals. Oh, sorry for the background. Um, there's a lot of water in the air. <laughs> I live in a wooden house and when my um, washing machine comes in the last spinning cycle, my whole house starts to shake. Um, it's close to nature. So I want to send you all lots and lots of love. And you've got this. We all got this. We're coming in eclipse season. We are going to have changes. We might be lying awake at night and going, how do I want my life to be? Which beliefs do I need to leave behind? You know, some beliefs you no longer need. And look also to your body. What is your body telling you? And as you know, I'm always there. If you ever want a reading with me, just contact me, send me a message and, and we can organize that. I'll be on holiday still for four or five days next week. But after that, I'm there for you. Okay, bye for now and have an amazing week.